everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Mm, gorgeous day here. I've had some playtime on the desk. Yay! Uh, I'm off to see my dad for a week, so we will not be visiting much. I will have a live chat on Wednesday uh, on Facebook, so if you're part of that village, uh, we will chat later. We got some fabric out today and some cardboard. This is the final page in this altered book, which is most exciting. So, uh, yeah, let's just go forward. See you on the table. So this is not quite dry yet, uh, but we are going to be playing with this piece today. She is so fun. So it's fabric on cardboard. The background is um, watercolor and scrunchy bag, and which I did before, so it's not on this video, but you just put watercolor down over your underpants, take a recyclable bag and just scrunch it down, lift it up and you've got beautiful texture behind there, uh, texture paste, uh, some distress inks, I made some stri uh, stitch marks on her, she's fantastic. All right, dark o'clock, you know it is. This page, um, I just put some watercolor on it and then put a scrunchy bag on it. We've done that technique before. Um, if you haven't seen that video, then I just put some juicy watercolor paint on here and then put a recyclable bag on here and just pushed it down so that I could get all the wrinkles in the texture. Now somebody, I won't mention any names, has been bugging me to do a little bit of fabric art. So I'm going to play with this image that I got from Lori. I'm going to glue this image on here with some Mod Podge. I think she'll fit. Yeah, she will. I'm also going to play with my brick uh, stencil and some texture paste. And that's all I know so far. Fabric, image, cardboard, texture paste, brick stencil. Let's see where that takes us. My space is all dirty from black just so yesterday. Oh, it'll get clean one of these days, but maybe not today. On that, this is the insert from wine bottles, of course my favorite cardboard in the world. Okay, let her dry. When she's dry enough, which in my world she is <laughs> right now, I'm going to cut her out. She has a lot of moving parts. I'm up for the challenge. So I'm going to use her as a template and make a copy of her. And cut that. Oh, well, isn't that gorgeous? All right, we're going to cut this out. Okay, I'm going to place that template down. I think we'll put her about right there. So many fun things going on in this book. This is our final page. All right, I have some texture paste and a palette knife. This is a palette knife that came to me from Rosemary a while ago. And we're going to just put some texture paste on here. If uh, you are a Patreon member, then you will get this, uh, an image. You will get an image of what I am using. You'll get a copy of it. Okay. Thinking, talking, playing all at the same time. Very convoluted.
I'm going to place my stencil here and add some bricks and then down here and here. And the stencil wants to lift up around the cardboard. Makes it a little bit messy looking, but I'm okay with that. Okay, it's goopy here. It's just fine because we're going to be doing lots to the uh, background, to the bricks. So that is just fine. I'm going to set this aside and let this dry. Alright, so I have a bag of fabric scraps that I'm going to play with. This is going to be just crazy and we're going to try it. Okay. So I'm going to cut a section out. And I'm going to take a piece of fabric and I'm going to glue it to that piece. Have we lost our minds? Perhaps Mod Podge that on there. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I can tell already. So with a nice sharp exacto, just go in there and cut that fabric to fit that puzzle piece. All right, bring in our cardboard. And let's see. We are going to place that Oh, right there. Okay. So we'll put some Mod Podge there. piece down. <laughs> Is this going to be fun or what? Yes. All right, I'm going to cut this piece out now. Your paste everywhere. Cut this out. Okay, so I have this piece glued. We'll bring our girl back in, get her placed where she is supposed to be. Put some Mod Podge down on her where this next piece is. This is fun. This is fun. And we're going to put that piece right there. So I'll bring you back periodically to see how the progress is going, but I'm just going to cut a piece out, add fabric to it, and glue it down.
So I'm still using my X-Acto, still gluing the fabric onto the puzzle pieces, cutting the fabric out. My X-Acto is pretty sharp, thank goodness. You have got to do this. <laughs> this is just way too much fun. So as the piece is coming together, you no longer need the template to show you where the pieces go. They just kind of fit in. So exciting. So I've debated as to whether to try to make her mouth or not. We're going to try it. So these are the little lips. I think what I'm going to do is make them kind of red. That'll be fun. I'm just making sure that they fit. I'm collecting all kinds of stuff on my sticky fingers. And yes, we can get those to fit. All right, all you little scraps. Oh my goodness. Are we having fun yet? Yes, we are. I was supposed to leave about a half hour ago. And I didn't. Sometimes it's just too much fun. So I cut the cardboard piece out, put some Mod Podge on it just with my fingers because it's such a small space. Put the fabric on, it doesn't take very long and it sticks really quickly. Then I bring my X-Acto in and I cut that out. And then I just put a little bit of Mod Podge where it's going. And on to the next piece. Now as I'm going along it looks like my template here is a little bit bigger than my actual puzzle is going to be or it's a little bit off-center or whatever. That is okay. We're gonna go in here afterwards and really clean up the edge. Gosh, she's gorgeous. So I have tried cutting it out with the scissors and the edge is just too sharp for me. I like some of the uh, roughness that the exacto cutter will leave behind. So that's artist's choice as to whether you want to use scissors on this or an exacto. I'm an exacto fan. Getting down to the final pieces here.
Oh, there we go. Patience, Lori Marie, patience. Now I'm going to take Mod Podge and put Mod Podge over all of the fabric. That'll fill in any little gaps we have. And if you have worked with uh, Mod Podge and fabric, you know that the Mod Podge turns the fabric almost leather-like. And just because I like to play, I'm going to get my fingers in there and really rub everybody and everything down. I'm going to bring my X-Acto in. She's almost dry. You know how we're so patient. And I'm going to clean this up. All right, I'm going to take the black soot dabber and I'm just going to go around the edge of this piece. I'm going to take, bring in my um, Stabilo and just go along these fun lines. Now I'm going to bring in my fun pen. We'll see if this works. We're going to have some stitching. So there's a couple of kinds of stitching that I'm using. It's the cross stitch and the straight stitch. And then here I've just made some dots like it's come up and just been um, dotted up. And then you've got your sewing line like that. So there's a few things that you can do. Very fun. Okay, I've got most of the stitching done. I just put two little crescents, two little arches there for her eye. Yeah, she looks pretty cool. Let's bring the book back in. She's going to go right there in the book. Oh, she looks pretty dandy, doesn't she? All right, let's get some Distress Inks going. I grabbed the uh, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. Put some of that on some of the bricks back here. bring in my sandpaper and just hit the texture paste. I'm going to bring in the black soot distress ink. I don't know how much of it I have. Oh yeah, I have a fair amount of it. Just here and hither and tither. And I'm going to bring in peeled paint. Bringing in the wild honey. There we go. That is beautiful. All right, distress ink in the black soot. Just go around the edges. That is pretty gosh darn cool. I'm going to bring in tacky glue 
I used tacky glue on this because being cardboard it's a little bit more it, the Mod Podge does not work as well as the tacky glue so we're going to use the tacky glue for this if you have another adhesive that you enjoy I encourage you to use it All right, I'm gonna put a rice bag on her. We'll see her when she's done. She is not quite dry. I'm gonna go around her with the Stabilo to catch any of the areas that perhaps I missed with the bricks, like here, just so it doesn't make a big deal. All right, went around her with some Stabilo. Beautiful, beautiful. She is most, most gorgeous. I may put a word up here or something like that, but I'm calling her done for now. So your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.